everyone welcome back to my channel today I have Athene with me Ooh, there we go <laughs> she's been a good girl she's just been asleep and she wasn't bothered about me getting her out either so that's good but yeah she's gonna be here with me while I talk about my <sighs> let's get my breath back I'm knackered witchy pagany um, haul that I've uh, you know things that I've recently purchased and stuff and uh, while I say recently a couple of them are from like I don't know two or three months ago but uh, I haven't really got around to talking about them and whatnot first thing I got was this if you can see it's got like a little stand uh, I thought it was really cool because I do like skulls um, and I saw this in Asda um, in the sort of home section, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, so I just thought that was really cool. I've had that actually sitting on my bedside table in amongst my candles and stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of where it stayed. But um, I may well put it on my altar for Halloween or Samhain. Um, but yeah, so I just thought it was really cool. I haven't come up with a name for him yet. So if you have any name suggestions, then let me know. But yeah, so he's pretty cool. And the next thing, uh, or the next three things that I bought uh, were actually candles. Um, there's this one, which is from Asda as well, and it smells gorgeous. Um, it's called Soft Cotton, and it says gentle notes of violet and fresh linen with musky wooden undertones. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful smelling. I love it. Um, my second candle was this wild jasmine and yet again smells gorgeous smells more sort of flowery um, and it says on it beautifully floral notes with hints of fresh citrus um, so yeah that's that's a real sort of flowery smelling one I'm looking forward to burning that <laughs> and the third candle I got was this one what's it called again spiced berry so or spiced berries should I say um, and that's kind of a more Christmassy kind of it reminds me of Christmas anyway um, and it says on it a vibrant blend of juicy fruits with a twist of cozy spices so yeah that's definitely one um, you know for Christmas and stuff uh, but to be honest I would just burn it all year round because I love that smell anyway it's got like a cinnamony ginger kind of smell so yeah <laughs> oh I don't know where you're going I'm gonna put you around my neck little Athene the last few things that I bought was actually some crystals um, so I'm going to put up um, while I'm talking about these crystals uh, what they're used for and like what their magical properties are and um, so this one I believe to be called um, Aragonite um, I just thought it looked really cool it's you know an unusual stone and I just kind of like the patterns on it this one is called Serpentine um, and uh, yet again you know anything to do with snakes serpents whatever um, it's got you know really nice patterns on and um, I just love its green colour. Um, it just kind of reminds me of like transformation and new life, you know. So, yeah. The next one is, this is a very small one, is Angelite. And um, it's so pretty. There's one part, I think it's there at the top. It looks like it's got a star. But, um, yeah, it's very um, sort of celestial angel kind of thing and it's just I was very drawn to it because I just love that shade of blue the next one is opalite now I believe this is a man-made crystal but um, I just love the way it shines in the light and um, just the way you can see the light through it it just shows all sorts of different colors and stuff so yeah it's very pretty this next one is Galaxyite, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it has little flecks of sort of, um, I don't know what it is really, it's just like sort of little shiny flecks, um, and it almost looks like stars in the night sky. Um, 
and yeah that's really pretty if you, you've got to kind of catch it in the right light but um, yeah it's such a beautiful stone and um, I, I kind of do like anything sort of celestial this one is selenite I think I'm saying that right or selenite selenite um, and I have got some of this already but it's such a beautiful stone and it's one that doesn't really need to be charged in water so a lot of people put crystals um, in a bowl of water and put it out in the moonlight for charging their crystals but this one doesn't need that um, it's kind of got its own charge and it will do its own thing um, but to me it's one of like what I would call like a master stone it's uh, just one of those that's very strong and very powerful this one is rose quartz and this has been one of my favorite crystals uh, for many years ever since I was a teenager I always used to try and look for rose quartz or any sort of quartz on the beach but um, yes this is a stone connected with love and um, yeah it's as I say I always like to have some of this with me and it's you know it's a beautiful stone I do not know what this girl is doing but she's doing whatever she wants so <laughs> she's just having an investigate anyway <laughs> so this next stone is amethyst and yet again it's one of my favorites and it's just it's the way you can kind of sort of see the light through it it's so pretty and it's like you know very purpley and purple is my favorite color um, so yeah I just wanted a piece of this so that I could have it with me sort of wherever I go because I do like to have my crystals with me for you know various uh, reasons you know I might be doing a spell that's connected with that crystal and that will require me to carry that crystal around for that spell to sort of manifest um, and work basically <laughs> this next one is malachite and it's such a beautiful sort of deep green with beautiful patterns and it's one that you shouldn't put in water because it can affect it can affect the stone and you know if you come into contact with the water that that malachite has been in it's yeah it's not a good idea it can be quite toxic so it's best to keep this stone dry um, but yeah I just love its color it's absolutely stunning and uh, yeah as I say the patterns are gorgeous this is my last crystal which is called dragonstone and I think it's called Dragonstone because it's got like a sort of strange scaly appearance um, but yeah so it's got sort of greens in it and very sort of dark almost like a dark reddy browny colour as well but as I say it's um, got with the green bits it's got a slightly sort of scaly appearance but, um, but yeah I was just drawn to the name of it to be honest so looking forward to using that and I said last but not least, but I do have another little surprise thing that I treated myself um, when it was my birthday in April, I treated myself to this. And it is an amethyst pendulum. Um, and I absolutely love it. So I'm looking forward to using this. It's got like a little sort of plastic bead bit at the top, but um, yeah, so. I'm looking forward to using this and doing a bit of divination with it. I have actually got like a sort of um, pendulum divination board um, that I've actually got in a drawer in the other room. So I think I shall be using that and this pendulum and um, yeah, and just ask a few questions and hopefully it will uh, tell me some answers. It's, it's lovely and I've kind of wanted one for quite a while and I thought, oh well, I'll just treat myself. I've got some money for my birthday, so I just treated myself to it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it really. That's my little sort of witchy purchases at the moment. I'm on to snaky matters. Um, I'm actually waiting for a vivarium for Australia. Um, as I say, I'm waiting for that to come and I will be doing a build video 
with that vivarium and uh, yeah I'm excited for her like getting it and stuff because it just means she gets more space and stuff so yeah um, I will be doing as I say a build video and showing you how I put it all together vivarium will be coming from Provivs um, and they're based in Hong which is near me and yeah so um, I'm looking forward to getting that and putting all sort of new furniture and things like that in there and hopefully she'll have fun climbing about and having more space and things anyway for now I will say goodbye but thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time in my next video which hopefully will be next week sometime but um, anyway yeah thanks again for watching see you soon